In this video, we'll briefly present one final correction to the energies of the hydrogen atom, typically called the Darwin correction. And this has to do with the fact that the electron in the hydrogen seemingly doesn't behave like a point particle, even though as far as is known, the electron doesn't have any structure, uh, but rather as a delocalized source of charge. And this behavior is usually attributed to what's known as the Seder BB gun of the electron or some a rapid jittery motion of the electron. So one way of thinking about this is if you, uh, in some coordinate system, you consider the proton of the hydrogen to be at the origin and your electron at some distance r away. Uh, what actually is happening is the electron uh, is spread out over a region called the Compton wavelength. Uh, the Compton wavelength of an electron is just the energy, the, the wavelength of a photon that uh, would have the same energy as the rest mass of the electron. And, and we won't go through the derivation, but ultimately what comes out of this treatment is a correction to the potential energy of the electron. that looks something like this with a direct delta function of R. Now, because this delta function is non-zero only at the origin, so this will only contribute when R is equal to zero. Uh, or about r equals to zero. Uh, the Darwin correction only applies to states with zero orbital angular momentum. And by extension, as a uh, z component of the orbital angular momentum of zero as well. And the reason for this, if you recall, uh, the wave functions of hydrogen had a r to the l term. So the only way for this to be non-zero when r is equal to zero is if l is equal to zero. And uh, I should mention that even though you can get very close to deriving this quantity by analyzing this type of uh, model of having the electron spread out over a sphere, this is actually rigorously derived from the Dirac theory of the electron, but that's beyond the scope of this course. So what we're left with then is to calculate the first order correction to the energy due to this Darwin term. Is to calculate the, these matrix elements from uh, first order from uh, perturbation theory. And these will go something like the fine structure constant to the fourth and mass of the electron C squared times two N cubed. And again, it's important to remember that this is only for states with zero orbital angular momentum. One of the reasons why we're only skimming through this particular term is because it will turn out that even though the spin orbit coupling term shouldn't be applied to states with L equals zero because there is no or orbital angular momentum. Uh, if you're careful about how you consider these states, the value of the spin orbit correction will actually coincide with the correction due to the Darwin term. So the only, ultimately the only corrections we have to take into account are the relativistic 
corrections to the kinetic energy and the spin orbit coupling correction to the potential energy. So in the next video, we'll do that. We'll combine all of our uh, results together and see what the energy spectrum of hydrogen with the fine structure looks like.